In this video, we're going to be talking about quadratic polynomials. Quadratic polynomials can be written in the form ax squared plus bx plus c, and we can easily find their roots using the quadratic formula, which I've written here. That's given as minus b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a, where a, b, and c are these a, b's, and c's listed. We can also find the vertex of a quadratic, which is the point of the parabola that is formed when you graph out these functions. And I think maybe then actually talking through all of the algebra here with all of these arbitrary values of a, b, and c, it's probably better to just look at an example. So let's take as an example the polynomial x squared plus 5x plus 4. We know the zeros of that because it's easily factored into x plus 4 times x plus 1 giving us zeros of negative 4 and negative 1. But we want to actually find the vertex, not the actual zeros. So let's complete the square with this method using this polynomial here. So we have x squared plus 5x plus 4, and we want to first factor out our leading coefficient, but our leading coefficient here is 1, so we don't really have anything to do there. Next, we want to divide this number, 5 by 2, and add its square to the right. So we have x plus 5x plus 5 over 2 squared. And we're going to put this all in parentheses because this is going to be grouped together. And outside we're going to have plus 4 and then minus 5 over 2 squared. And you might say, well, why are we just allowed to add stuff to our polynomial? And that's because we're adding 0 in essence, because we're adding 5 over 2 squared here and subtracting 5 over 2 squared out here. But now we have what is called a perfect square polynomial. That's because this polynomial is actually made up of this term, x plus 5 over 2, twice. So this is x plus 5 over 2 squared. That gives us this polynomial. And then we have this stuff still outside, so that's going to be plus 4 minus 25 over 4 which we can simplify down. I'll go ahead and do that here. That simplifies down to negative 9 over 4. But we found our vertex because our vertex is where this function is the smallest, and this function is the smallest when x is equal to negative whatever this number is that I am squaring in purple. So in this case, our vertex is x equals negative 5 over 2, and our y point is whatever is left outside of this square. So in this case, it's negative 9 over 4. And that's our vertex point for the parabola of this quadratic. Okay, let's take a look at this graphically, and then I think we'll finish this video off. Okay, so we just finished finding the vertex of this polynomial x squared plus 5x plus 4. And we already found the zeros as well, being x equals negative 4 and x equals negative 1. So let's go ahead and fill in these zeros first. That's going to be negative 4 and negative 1, like there. And we'll go ahead and fill in the vertex as well. That's going to be negative 5 over 2, which is going to be right between these two zeros, somewhere down here. And it's also going to be at y equals negative 9 fourths. So that's going to be just over 2 on the y-axis. We'll say that's negative 9 fourths. And this is going to be negative 2.5 or negative 5 over 2 on the x-axis. So right here looks about right. And now we can draw our parabola like so. I want to point out one more thing about this parabola. We know it's upward sloping, not only because of these three points, but also because the leading coefficient of the parabola is positive. And that's enough for now.